what's going on boys welcome back and if you're new to the channel welcome pretty much today we're going to be trying to make the best cave base possible so caves they are really underestimated a lot of people say that they suck just because of the six times damage inside of them which is true but if you have the right defenses and enough time to fill up all of your turrets you will have one of the best bases hidden in this cave and that is because caves there is only one entrance therefore it is very easily defendable as long as you have everything that you need to keep people out. So the first part is when you're first starting out on the server and you've found a cave. So once you find that cave, go around and just test out where the damages are. Just get a feel for the area, figure out where the six times damage is, is it inside the cave, outside, just figure everything out just so that you have a little bit of a background knowledge of your area that you're building in. So once you find a lot of spots, some of them should be only one times damage. Like for example, if you find it like right on the corner of the ledge, it will be one times so once you find that just keep it in mind we're going to be building turret towers there later on when you get to the turret stage but for now we're just assuming that you're only at the stone level and uh by the way if you guys are already metal just skip ahead to like five or six minutes in the video and you'll get to the metal stages but anyways pretty much what you want to do to start out is go onto this little cliff or something find a cliff that you can pretty much hang down a turret tower so if your cave doesn't have a cliff i guess you could go about it in other ways but if you have a cliff it is the best type of cave because you can hang the pillars down like this and if somebody blows up those pillars from the bottom it's not going to destroy the whole thing therefore people just rushing in on like trikes and stegos or rock golems or whatever if you're trying to flak run this thing it won't be able to be taken down just by placing c4 at the bottom so that's the main reason why i think this base is so good just because you can't flak run it but anyways now start placing down some ceilings all spaced out it doesn't really matter the spacing but just so that you have enough room to place down some plant species x so i know you're probably thinking like how am i supposed to put plant species x in here if there's no water well yeah that's probably the hardest part of building this base and when you're first building up on the server usually i try to go straight for metal but for all the beginners out there who don't have the ability to level up that fast and you're going for stone it looks like you're just gonna have to place down plants and either get a water tap going inside of here or make a reservoir and then with the reservoir you can just fill it up manually and then it'll take care of everything but you're gonna have to figure that part out if you do want to put plants down before putting down turrets so anyways what I'm doing now is making a little barrier so that people can't just run up to the base and flak run it so this makes it 10 times harder guys I swear so what you want to do is start placing down fence foundations and then railings on top of those and if you make it at least too high you're not gonna be able to jump over these plus it's going to give the turrets or the plants just enough you know visibility in order for them to shoot the players because you can't just sprint up to it and jump over which is perfect so usually i do two or three layers of this just because it's more stuff that people have to blow through and i usually keep it a little bit farther away from the base just so that people can't get close to the base and you know there's a little bit more range for those turrets to shoot at so now it's time to place down all of those large crop plots just try to fit on as many as you can as long as you have the fertilizer and the water power to support all of these but pretty much when you have just a huge freaking wall of these plant species it's very hard to get through and if you don't have flame arrows which are pretty hard to get if you're new to the game it's going to be really hard to get through this especially if they're all filled up but i do recommend guys that you you know you try to get to that turret stage as fast as possible because if people do have flame arrows they're going to be able to take down this base very quickly so obviously this isn't the best base for like end game servers but but if you're in a brand new server, this is definitely prime and you're going to be able to defend this cave as best as possible because people cannot take it down just by throwing grenades at the bottom. They're going to have to go through that turret tower or the plant tower, go up, destroy the foundation up top, and that's the only way for them to get in. But anyways, in this little area that is just empty, what you're going to want to do is place just as much spam as you can. Place down bear traps, just anything to slow them down. If you want to just put plants on the ground you can do that as well but once you've done that go inside the base and now we're just going to scatter around some plant species x so i know they're not prime placement you could probably place them on the side of the walls if you wanted to but i'm just placing down a few just as an example but i 
usually do I place down a foundation just so that the plants are flat and then I place the plant on top of that so I mean you can put as many as you want in there go for the turret limit if you want go for a hundred out of a hundred if you want but anyways now I'm gonna move on to the main part of the base so usually in the caves there's an open area and then there's a little bit of a smaller area so in this cave there is a smaller area and if there is one in yours go into that and make it your main base so scatter plants all around the thing make it as hard as possible for people to raid it and then once you get inside this is where you want to look up a base design I definitely recommend this guy right there if you want to check him out I'm not gonna go over the hundreds of base designs but you go and choose one that you like So this last part is where we're going to upgrade everything into metal. So if you did make the stone design that I did here, you know, it's going to be good for maybe the first week of the server. But after that, once people start getting high level tankers and stuff, you're definitely going to want to get a lot of tarts. So what I do, I do the same exact thing, except this time I'm going to leave enough room to place down a generator up top because that's where the main generator is going to be. And then we're going to have cables going through all of these metal pillars that are going down to the bottom. So in order for this to look really legit and people want to go after this thing You're gonna want to make like a fake little base at the bottom where people are gonna think that the generator is So if you do this people aren't gonna you know overthink it They're just gonna try to go for that main little thing once they get in there they use all their resources They're gonna figure out that you know crap They don't have the ability to destroy this thing unless they get up top somehow Which is really really hard since they're gonna have to use a flyer But anyways do the same exact thing that you did last time and for this one you could probably even fit more ceilings on it if you want so just make as many of these hatch frames as you can and then start placing down tarts on top of those so once again we're gonna want to make a lot of spam out front and in order to do that we're gonna have to get rid of all the spam that I just made before for the stone base design and now we're gonna want to upgrade everything to metal so large metal billboards are probably my favorite use of spam you know what you're gonna want to do is just place down so many many of these things they have like 7,000 health they're really easy to make and they will stop any big large creature from getting into your base they're just perfect you can spam them down people are gonna have to use c4 to get through them they're so easy to make and usually I put some spikes in front of them just so that people can't run up so obviously this isn't like a foolproof super good tart tower wall you know all it is is spam you're just trying to make sure that people have to use as many resources as possible to get into your base and it just slows them down so you have more time to defend and then once again we're gonna make one of these double high railings but this time we're gonna make it really close to that turret tower because people are gonna try to run up you know and you're gonna want to make sure that there's at least two layers of it right in front of the turret tower and it's gonna give the turrets a little bit more visibility in this open area right here but now instead of just leaving this area super open like last time or just placing down bear traps we're gonna make a zigzag kind of look with the railings and what this is gonna do it's gonna make it very hard for these large teams to get through this they're gonna have to blow through at least two layers of these metal railings because sometimes the opening isn't big enough if you blow through only one of them since they're zigzag but once you do that now we're gonna place down some bear traps just for people trying to run up and play c4 and now behind these we're gonna place two high pillars in each of the little crevices what those are gonna be for are placing down turrets so those turrets are gonna stop everyone just trying to run up plus it's gonna focus on all of the soakers that are trying to come into the base so I do recommend that you put all of these on players only and then the turrets on the back that are on that large turret tower you put those on you know all creatures or you put them on teams and players but the ones out front those should be on players only just so that they don't target the tanks and they're only targeting the you know the players themselves but anyways now we're gonna want to fill up a generator inside of this little wall that I just built here and then place down some of these large hatch frames once again again on top so what this is going to allow us to do is place down as many turrets as we want I only place like a couple up top you could literally just make a full line of turrets and that's what you're going to want to do also but anyways when you're making this real base you have to make sure that when you're placing down this generator that it's in line with the pillar so that you can place the vertical cables down that pillar place some outlets and then all of the turrets that are on this little turret tower are going to be able to be powered another quick tip for 
everyone out there, you want to focus on filling all of these turrets up to the max, or at least as high as you can. Because these cave bases, you know, they do have 6 times damage, but if all of your turrets are shooting at other people and their tankers, whatever they're using, golems, maybe brontos, uh, you know, if they're all filled up, their teams are going to die by the time that they try to freaking get in that base. They're not going to be able to run in and play C4 unless all of your turrets are down. So if you can fill up all of these turrets, it's literally the same and maybe even better than a base on the surface because there's only one entryway, you don't need to worry about all these other sides, and you can focus all of your turrets on that one entryway. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it when you're making all the turrets, just place down spam and it should look just like that. You can even make the wall higher if you want, make it too high, place some more turrets down, but you know, it's really customizable. This is just a basic outline of what you're going to want to do. But anyways, once you get outside and remember all those stone foundations that I placed down, make some turret towers. Make some turret towers, that's an example of some builds that you can use, and once again it's from the same person. So I'm not going to make turret towers, you guys know what you have to do, you know where to place them, now it's up to you on what design you want to use. And I wanted to point out before the end of the video, the only way to get into this base is by using a Bronto platform saddle because or Quetzal because you can't just walk golems and Brontos up this thing there is a cliff right there out front so the only way to raid it is by using the Bronto platform saddle and golems or Brontos whatever you're using you're gonna need some way to get uh, the teams up to the top and that's what you're gonna use the Bronto for but I'm just letting you guys know that so that when enemies come in you know that's the only way they're gonna be able to do that so maybe you can plan accordingly I don't know play some large bear traps so that their brontos can't get near your base but anyways guys that's pretty much it for today's video if you did like this upgrade of the cave base design make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll try to answer everyone but anyways i'll see you guys in my next video hopefully soon peace